one of the basic problem of man is sin when sin rules our lives we begin to lose sight of god as we read in the book of isaiah 59 verse 1 on verse though god is our father though god takes care of us he who takes care of the birds and the flowers but sin hides the face of god sin becomes a wall between god and man so we are not able to see the lord we are not able to see what the lord does in our lives we lose sight of that god is our father so we are left out with our own struggle that only come to our mind our struggles come our disturbances come our work comes our burden comes we begin to think uh, we are lost somewhere and unknown fear comes and rules some of them and unknown disturbances come and the unknown burden comes we feel hungry to eat and the hunger doesn't come for some for some as soon as they eat they are not able to do anything they want to pray but sleep comes or disturbances come you want to read the word of god you are unable to do you find blocks everywhere blocks disturbances sin sin separates us from god that all that god has kept for us his children becomes a distance from us when the son took away all the money from the father in the prodigal son parable the moment he took the money there is a power behind the sin satanic power so he took the boy away from the father and he made him to lose everything that the father gave it to him the boy could survive until what he had from the father the moment he lost everything of the father the next moment he was thrown to the pigs that's what happens to us the sin has the capacity to drain out to drain out everything like you put injection and take away your blood you become bloodless you become helpless you become tired and unknown unknown disturbance unknown tension come into your life that is the effect of sin sin takes away all that of god from us and unwanted fear worries anger disturbances distress come no sleep yes on the other hand one hand it hides the face of god on the other hand the sin opens the door for the enemy that the enemy enters into his life and takes the person to do all unwanted elements the husband gets so angry and hits his own wife the wife gets so upset she refuses to talk to the husband or even abuses them and the enemy is so happy to find rift and make them to live like that some even say i am nothing to do with my husband i am nothing to do with my wife i am that because for my children the joy the bible says 
a free husband and wife they have problem and the book of ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 10 says at the end of the day it is a natural that god brings a man and a woman together that when one falls the another lifts up this is the divine plan but then the sin makes them to hate each other in such a way to be indifferent to each other not to talk with each other not even allowed to touch each other to be in their own little world to be even abuse each other what God has kept them today evening you have problem God helps you to come together. Tomorrow morning you forget your struggle. Okay. We bear the things together. We move ahead in life. The enemy takes it away. Takes away the love. Takes away the concern for each other. Takes away the language the beginning of the marriage time. Darling Sweetie, all that goes away. Just don't even call by name. The enemy on the one hand takes us away from God and kills off all that of God. Life of prayer, reading the word, rejoicing in the Lord, celebrating life. On the other hand, the enemy infuses all that of the enemies, the anger, the depression, sadness, brokenness. Yes. So man trying to God and say, I'm sorry, Lord. Mary Kulpa, Mary Kulpa. We ask pardon. We try to go for confession. and But sin doesn't go away. The wages of sin is death. The sin comes behind us and bites us like a snake, the Bible says. It meets us. And what to do? This sin has to be overcome. The Bible teaches us in the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 13 when we live in the flesh we die we die but we cannot overcome sin by ourselves that's why we read in the book of Romans chapter 7 verse 15 onwards a great servant called Paul he had this experience what I want to do I am not able to do what I am supposed to do to my father, to the Christian community. What is my duty? I know. I know here. But I am not able to do it. Why? And as a servant of God, what I am not supposed to do, I am doing. There are certain things I am not supposed to do. As a single man or a family man. And I am doing it. Why? I'm so, I, it is not my business to talk about somebody else. But I, I am restless. It comes to me. It's like one fellow was asked. You made the retreat again. Why do you go for drinking? He said, no, not me father. I didn't go. My motorbike went into that shop father. What I don't want to do, I am doing it. Why it's happening? This was the struggle of St. Paul. Definitely it is our struggle too. And then in Romans chapter 7 verse 20, Paul reveals the secret. He says, if I do what I don't want to do, if I am not able to do 
what i am supposed to do something is blocking me something is pulling me to sin on the other side something is blocking me not allowing me to do what i am supposed to do what is that say i found sin ruling my life sin ruling my life 